Hi guys, welcome to Off the Tenth Beer Reviews. My name is Chris, and today's a special episode because five months ago, I did this beer right here. I did this beer when I came back to the channel. I was like, shit, I got, I gotta, I gotta do this beer again. I gotta revisit it only because I just had to bring out your dead, the tenth anniversary one, and I was like, that was my favorite imperial stout of the year. So I'm just like, ah, I'm just gonna fix this camera for a second. I was like. You know what? I gotta have this beer one more time. I was gonna age this one for another year and, and, and compare it to the 2022, but I can't. I need to have this beer. I need to know because Bring Out Your Dead, the 10th anniversary is still fresh on my brain. And I just had one recently. Last week, I think I had one. And it was like, oh, this is fucking delicious. So I'm gonna get back into this beer. Uh, if you guys don't remember that one, I'll. No, I was going to drop a link above my head for this one. But, you know, this is a revisit. So, let's talk about this beer right here. All right, like I said, from Amsterdam Brewing out of Toronto, Ontario. Today, we're taking a look at the best beer these guys make. Not even kidding. We're looking at the 2021 Double Tempest. We're revisiting this one. This is a bourbon barrel-aged Imperial Stout that's coming in at a whopping 11.9% alcohol by volume. It's in a 650 milliliter bomber. Uh, it's 75 IBUs at the, uh, I can see that on the side of this, uh, bottle and, uh, yeah, there's a whole bunch of writing and stuff on, on this. I've had this one. Like I said, this is a revisit. I kind of wanted to like kind of, you know, go back into it. Like I said, I wanted to try this one again and see how this one compares. Cause I, I do have to bring out your dead fresh in my mind. Uh, so let's get into this. I already took off the wax already got it ready for that but let's go all right there's that got that open wax tops how about we just not do them anymore they're not that much of a pain in the ass but for the average joe they might be all right this one's pouring off like used motor oil just like i had it before good carbonation it looks like it's fizzing its way i can hear it right now i got some dirty glass Mafia. Shout out to Joe at the Beer Patrol. All right, this one poured off. Like I said, I like use more to oil. This one's uh, the head is sticking around. Surprisingly, you no. Know, last time I had this one, the head just disappeared and it fizzed away, and it's sticking around. So, uh, and I'm surprised with it. Um, I will not drink this right away. I will talk about this beer. I'll talk about what, that, what I smell and how it looks, only because I don't want to drink this down right away. I really don't. It's 11.9 percent. If I take a sip of this right now, it's going to totally burn my throat going down. Even though I am used to high alcohol content beers, but nevertheless, I gotta, I'm gonna have to like talk about this for a second. So let's take a look at the smell. A look at the smell. Let's smell it first. Oh, just like I remember, all oh, that fig. That that that. It's it's still there. Five months later, it's still there. This is. Yeah. Oh my God. There is like. Oh, there's almost like a soy sauce kind of a smell, and I like soy sauce. Now, I liked, I call, I'm calling the Bring Out Your Dead, the 10th anniversary, my favorite bourbon barrel aged, or actually, that was a cognac barrel aged stout, but barrel aged imperial stout is my favorite one, only because there was a lot of sweetness, and I really like sweeter beers. Um, this one, I can't remember now. Uh, it's been, it's been five months since I've had this beer, so I want to like, I want to, I want to drink it, but I want to wait a couple more seconds. So, uh, the head's faded away now. It's gone to a film on top. Okay, on the nose, I'm picking up that 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 lot of chocolate note on this one. A little bit of the bourbon's coming through on this one, and a, a little bit like of a soy sauce kind of a smell on this one. So it smells like it held up okay for the last five months. Let's drink it. Cheers. Here we go. Oh, I hope this is just as good as I remember it, which will probably really. Oh, that one, this one aged for five months. Pretty fucking dynamite. I think this is better than the last time I had it. Okay. One thing that hasn't changed in the last five months from this beer, the, from the first time I had it, is the body. The body on this beer is not as big as I wanted it to be. 11.9, it kind of wanted this to be a little bit more viscous, a little bit more chewy. It's not, I don't know why, um, it's not, there's probably, it might have something to do with the barrels we're using. I don't know. Doesn't matter. It, it still tastes fantastic. But like, again, I wanted this body to be a lot bigger. And 
right right there right there just with that body it's already below the, the bring out your dead 10th anniversary so let's talk about what i taste on this one okay 11.9 for for one thing i let this thing sit for a bit before i even took a sip and i'm glad i did because at 11.9 percent you really can't you can tell it's boozy but it's not really giving you a lot of booze going down the throat at all more in the chest warming sure it's there reminding you that it is a big beer all right the taste is there it's bad it, it, i mean everything held up from the first time i had this beer however a little bit of of the sweetness is kind of fallen off on this beer i think um i did re-watch my review of this beer um before filming this one and it had a little bit of a sweetness now that sweetness is in here that there's more of a more of a bitterness coming off, probably from like the uh, like the roasted malt or whatever they're using in this one. It's kind of giving me, it's bringing up that bitterness a bit. The sweetness is kind of dissipated, and the chocolate note that I was getting on that scent is starting to fade away even more in, in the taste. Like, I mean, don't get me wrong, this tastes good, but is it as good as I as, as it was five months ago? I don't think so. I honestly think that this one tastes better when you buy it and you drink it fresh as opposed to holding on to it. Um, I don't know. This is the longest I've had a Double Tempest sitting before I opened it up again. Um, maybe they don't age well. Greg from the Beer Patro uh, the beer Burglar will actually, um, might, if he watches this video, just probably doesn't anymore. But if you end up watching this, Greg, let me know the the you know, the track record for Amsterdam Double, Temp Double Tempest when it comes to aging, because this one, it tastes okay. Like it's not, it, it's it's held up, but not really. It's not as, oh my, uh, somebody's messaging me, that's great. But it's not, it's not as good as it was the first time I had it five months ago. Now I'm actually glad that I, I had a chance to drink this one again before I aged it even further. Okay, on the taste, you're picking up a little bit of a molasses taste on this one. The chocolate is there. It's dialed back. Like I said, it's, it's faded out now. Uh, that soy sauce smell that I was getting on it, not there in the taste, obviously. This one is still producing the sticky lips like it did the first time, but not as much. I mean, the sweetness is gone now. I don't know. I think that this beer doesn't age very well, even though it's only been, I've only held on to it for five months before opening it again. And yeah, so... I'm going to score it. I'm actually going to score it from what I remember having it five months ago and this. I kind of do a generic score. This is fantastic still. However, out of 10, I'm going to have to give this one probably about a 9. A 9 out of 10. It is a fantastic bourbon barrel aged style, especially the first time I had this one five months ago. Five months later, I don't know. Stuff's disappearing on this one. But anyway, guys, I'm done with my own opinion on this one. I gave this one a score, 9 out of 10. The Double Tempest, the 2021 Revisit from Amsterdam Brewing, which is probably the best beer, excuse me, that Amsterdam does produce. It's still good. It's still good, but not as good as it was when it was fresh. That's basically it. Anyway, guys, I'm done. Thanks for watching, guys. Feel free to subscribe, like the video, and all that jazz. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. Thanks guys for watching the video. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you want to keep following me, click the link in the middle there, that subscribe button. That's me. Uh, and if you want, check out my other videos by clicking on the link beside me. Cheers guys. Thanks.